Medical researchers have invented a new AI tool that detects hidden consciousness in brain injured patients by analyzing microscopic facial movements. So what they're essentially doing is using computer vision, which is the tool that would analyze any piece of video or images or anything like that facial recognition technology. But instead of recognizing faces very far away on a surveillance cam, you've actually got a very high resolution camera looking for microscopic muscle and eye movements on the face in order to determine if a patient is conscious or not. And the reason we're doing this is that doctors have long since faced a profound challenge in assessing patients after a severe brain injury. In a hospital's intensive care unit, a doctor might ask a patient who appears to be unconscious to perform a simple task, such as squeezing their hand or wiggling their toes, and a successful response confirms a level of awareness. However, it's estimated that about 15 to 20% of people may be fully conscious, able to hear, able to understand, but not able to make any of these movements. So the researchers had this idea that artificial intelligence using computer vision would perhaps be able to notice tiny, nearly microscopic muscle twitches and movements in the face and eyes that could be related to consciousness if a person were sort of struggling to respond, but their neuromuscular system was not cooperating. So Stony Brook University tested and evaluated a system they called CME. They tested on 37 adult patients that were in a coma following a brain injury, as well as 16 healthy individuals. They did daily sessions when medically appropriate. The patient wore headphones and were given commands like open your eyes, stick out your tongue, show me a smile, etc., etc. And the system worked by tracking thousands of microscopic points on the face. Think like the little dots in the face that somebody would have when they're doing CGI and comparing those to a quiet baseline. What's interesting is that this performed really well. It was able to identify this better and faster than most human observers. So it was significantly more sensitive. And again, it detected that people were conscious earlier than the human observers were able to. They also did an interesting test on this to confirm if the subtle movements were genuine attempts by trying to predict which region of the face would move given a certain command. This only got a 65% accuracy, so not amazing, but this is prototype. This is day one model. If you want to read more about this study, it's called Computer Vision Detects Convert Voluntary facial movements on responsive brain injuries uh, and I think it's fascinating because all we're looking for is facial twitches to detect consciousness to determine if a patient is brain dead or not and I think that's extremely valuable.